Hello? Um, sorry, my re video recorder is limited to the, the amount of time it takes, so I got cut off. So I'm just picking, off, picking up where I left off, and that was I created an account, and I set the name, and um, let's go ahead and start this again. So I have a command to create an account. It gets passed to the handler. The new account's created. Um, I call set name and domain repository saved, and that's it. I've done what um, was necessary to create an account in the system. Um, the events are were created through the apply here, and um, the system automatically saved them in the event store. Now I did forget one thing, and that is. Whenever the ID is passed here, I need to actually set the ID to the aggregate root. Now, technically, I could do it here. I could actually say ID equals, you know, ID. But that's not really the, uh, really what we want are the events to drive things. So I'm going to create a method called uh, on account created. And it's going to take a account created event. And here I'm going to say ID. Not, or sorry, I need to set to the idea of the event. And this might seem like a, not a big deal, but it's just, uh, I think, a good practice and something you'll want to keep up, especially when your application gets a little bigger. But uh, that doesn't really change it. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I was going to show you that when I created this method, uh, there's a convention applied. And whenever um, SimpleCQRS sees that short, you have a method that's named the same as your event, except it. Ha it has a prefix of on and the event is cut off it will fire this for you so I'm gonna run this again so I here's my account I've instantiated the account I'm gonna apply this event and I'll look I didn't have to tie anything it just automatically knew to call that method you don't have to make methods like that uh, like I don't have one for set name um, but you can if you need to okay so now let's make a denormalizer, something that's going to show the data on the screen. So I'm going to pretend like I need, I want a list of accounts. Um, so let's go ahead. And I'm going to make a class called Account Report Denormalizer, and it's going to implement a few a, fl a few interfaces, and uh, one of those is I handle the main events of account created event and I handle domain events of account name set event. And let's just put debugging lines in here. I'm going to fire it. Command gets sent. All this stuff happens. Now, once the once the uh, account is saved in the domain repository, those events in the domain object are published to anybody who's listening for them. So as soon as I saved, this do normalizer picked up the events from the aggregate root. So you can see it picked up the uh, account created event, and next it's going to pick up the name set event. You don't have to do anything. This is all just by convention. Now I don't want to make a database. I want to keep everything in memory like this demo. So I'm going to, I'm going to make a fake account report table. It's going to um, inherit from list of I account report row, just as if it were a database table. There'll be two columns in this report: ID and name. Oops. Right. And again, because I'm cheating and I don't have a database, I'm going to load a single instance of that table into my IOC container. And I'm doing that so in my denormalizer, I can just bring it in as a dependency. like so and then 
let's see, let's say it's an account's created. I want to add it to my report. So account report table, add new row, and the ID on it will be that. And let's say someone sets the name. Well, I want to change the name in my report, so let's pull out the row with that same ID. And I'm going to set the name to domain event first name. All right. So let's fire that. All this stuff's going to happen. Let's look in my report table. And surprise, I have a report with a name. So it's really that simple. Um, I can have as many denormalizes as I want to, you know, show data however I need. Um, simple CQRS will handle registering everything for me. So all I have to do is really just create the classes and go. Um, now this demo, sorry, this demo was uh, completely in memory, which how that's how Simple CQRS runs by default. But if I need to, I can, which I probably will need to. Um, I can replace the command bus, the event bus, um, the snap snot, snapshot store, which I won't go into tonight. Um, it basically, all the pieces of the framework can be replaced. So, like, for example, I'll probably want to use in-service in bus as my command bus. So, I'll probably want to replace the in-memory one with that. And I might want to use Mongo for my database instead of an in-memory list and um, so on. So if you have any questions, um, I would start by going to the GitHub project to search for Simple CQRS or Tyrone Groves, and you'll be sitting right here. And um, th this is a pretty new project, so please uh, forward any feedback you have. Thank you.